So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So uh, I think I'm gonna keep this intro short. I mean, if we seem to talk too much, the glitches start to happen. We already know the deal with this game, guys. Things are never as they seem and it seems like Monica and something else is corrupting everything. Who knows though guys, before a big glitch happens, I think we should get straight into this. So let's go ahead and do this. A big glitch just happened, didn't it? Welcome back though guys to Doki Doki Literature Club. This is gonna be part five and I think this one may be the one where we're on track for the ending. It seems like everything though is getting very intense. I don't exactly know how things are gonna top it, but they probably are. We are gonna jump straight into this one though guys. If you do enjoy this episode as well, you already know the deal, I mean. Come on now. So I think this is the third poem that we're writing right now. We've got to impress, I guess, Natsuki or Yori or I guess Monica. It's all going weird guys, but before we actually get into this, I've noticed whenever I'm playing this game, I'm like this with my finger. I think that's like my thinking pose or something. Or something? It looks weird. I'm gonna stop it anyway. Here we go. Treasure's a good one to start. Uh, let's go clouds, and then let's go adventure, and then let's go silly. Oh. Um, choice number 11,111. Let's go giggle. 111,000. Blit. 1 million. Okay. <laughs> Here's another one of these bugs, and let's go alone. Then we're gonna go childhood. Twirl. Let's go an ending. I like that word. Let's go, uh, vibrant mi- Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. That was- that was definitely Monica, right? Because of the headband, you know, the white headband at the back? I, I see you. Vitality, uh, prayer for that one, uh, grief, oh. Yeah, okay, no, I've decided, okay. Hi, Ryan, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? Sure. I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to- Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? M me? N nothing. Um, yeah, there is something. I can even see it too. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. A anyway, we don't need to talk about it. I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Ryan just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and trying to make time for the piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. I'm doing the finger. I need to stop. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, bit of awkward silence right there. Right. I, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. As long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Still a bit silent. And she really didn't want the new guests. Also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you new manga. Uh, okay. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something, but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool, and I guess another girl would be nice this time. More importantly, I would just hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know, so I'm gonna help out too, and we'll make sure it's all done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monika? Monika? Wait, where's she gone? She's like swaying and stuff, you know? Ah, yeah, that's wonderful. She's so sidetracked with something, you know? We saw in the last one, we saw this different side of her. She didn't want things to like black out. I think she's stressed out by whatever's in the game files or maybe how she's being forced to modify them or be the forefront like of it. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Ryan, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could- We already have plans today. Ah. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Ryan is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. One more thing. You remember in the last episode when Yuri wanted some time with us and it like cut all of that out. And then there was another time where we we're gonna walk to school with like Sayuri, but she didn't exist. It cut it out again. It's like we're only allowed scenarios now where it's Monika as the forefront. Let's get back into this anyway. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monika? I, I, I suppose. I, I was just, actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um. <clears throat> See that face? She's going a bit more, you know, uh, uh, steps. Like she's gone higher than the steps. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much, but she's gonna go out of the room. If there's one thing that can make my reading time any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. Can you hold this for a second? This is like deja vu. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches the kettle. I'm going to plug this in, then I'll get some water. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay, sorry for misunderstanding. Wait, what is going on? This is so strange. Wait. Hold up. 
this is the exact same as the day before. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. So, okay. I think, guys, as well, that's some fourth wall breaking stuff. You see with the music, how it's like contained within the room. It's like, that's where the game should take place. Us being able to go down this corridor is breaking the game. I start heading down the hallway to a water fountain. Here's the laughing. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri, this is with the arm, dude. Okay, then it all backtracks. We get all this mess right now. It's like reversing. Whoa. Okay, that reversed a lot of time. Ah! What? Um, wait, how did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu moment. So, I've been having this. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy late. This has all happened. I hope it really hasn't been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm just weird after we started spending time together. I, I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them, but expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me, so I started hating those things about myself. Why is the background like shaking and stuff? My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about things I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. Dang, that sucks. Recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart just starts to go crazy, like it's going to rip out my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things, so I don't know why it's happening. Ryan, is it just me? Or has Monica been acting a little off lately? Yes. It's not just you. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm- Oh, I- The thing, is Monica altering this again to make her look crazy? I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. Again, if this isn't meant to happen, like I was saying about the music contained within the room and we're outside, this shouldn't be happening. Someone's controlling this maybe, but finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Oh. Oh god, here goes the heartbeat again. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends, and then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. That's- Oh, you can see Monica's- Ooh, that was a joke. Monica's controlling this again for Yuri. I do like knives though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand it if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten loads of them. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Why is Monica coming more and more into focus? Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm happy you joined the literature club, Ryan. And now we won't need to be lonely anymore because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day from school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything you could ever- Oh man. Monica is doing something for this situation. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would eventually meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've always patiently want waited years for. Will you do that with me, Ryan? I can barely- Here goes- <laughs> let's just, uh, let's go Natsuki for this one, all right? Let's, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. This one's all right. Look, it's so normal. Again, you know, everything is so normal. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about Ryan, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I, I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president, but that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? At least read mine, but just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me, so read it carefully, okay? All right. Oh my god, I was just about to take a drink. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put this back down. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's normally not like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. This is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist? I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. Right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something, how? I don't want anything bad to happen. I'll make you cupcakes if I- Seriously, Natsuki, like, I'm here. I'm, I'm here, I get it. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you to this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I 
Someone knows. Someone freaking. I've changed my mind. Ignore, Ignore everything you just read. There's, There's no point in trying to do anything. It's your own fault, fault that she's so unlikable. Can, Can you, you hear, hear me, Ryan? Ryan? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I... Wait. Okay. Oh, uh, man. If I show it to Yuri, do I mess up? Do I mess up? I'm gonna show it to Yuri, guys. I'm sorry. I need to see. Uh, you know what? I should have probably saved my game before, so I'm gonna make a new slot. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Ryan, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I, I don't care. You're too nice to me, Ryan. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I, I could die. N not really, but I, I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this, right? It's not a bad thing. Uh, Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I even- I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Can you have my poem too? Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Take it. Hurry, read it. Okay. All right, I wonder if there's some kind of translated version of this on the internet. Apparently, the font makes it illegible and most of it's nonsense. I don't know how true this thing is, but uh, like, I don't know what else to believe. I, I actually, I can't even read this. This is, this is so disturbing. Yuri, whoa, do you like it? I wrote it just for you. In case you couldn't tell the poem is a- She doesn't even know. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the- I think- I think I'm going to vomit. What is happening? This is so messed up. Alright, Monica, let's just get this over and done with. Don't say I didn't warn you, Ryan. Huh? Yes? A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid and the sound of my splashing reverberated endlessly. endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. This is so jacked. Whoa. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival. Let's hurry and get this over with. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnated air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about. She's been saying this for so long. I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking I want to make cupcakes. Y yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it will help. Monika? I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I, I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere. Or what about Ryan? Ryan is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monika. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would- <laughs> All you care about is dragging Ryan around with you and your stupid bugs. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Ryan decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Ryan make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Ryan, I know you're fed up with these two by now. We can just- Natsuki, shut- Oh my god! You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ, yeah, come on! <laughs> can we just make the choice? Matt, I think I'm- <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Look at this, look at this! Oh my god, that is nuts right now. Like, hands aren't even on this thing. Let me try and click Natsuki. Hold up, hold up. Huh? I think I clicked Yuri by accident. I didn't- Oh! Yeah, you picked me! I, I didn't even mean that by that point. Okay. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's Sunday okay with you? Are you effing kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking Ryan for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. I'm being unreasonable? 
Ah, uh, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Ryan away from me every single time you're not included and she's going, like, insane or something by now. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're, you're scaring me a little. Nasuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Ryan, Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. This is so strange. Like, I, I feel really uncomfortable. Really, really, really uncomfortable. Finally, this is really all I wanted. Ryan, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. It's like this is being- It's like now the soundtrack is being played. It's like someone put the needle on the thing and they're playing this to make it try and seem like it's a, a legit moment, but it's not. Come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Wow, there really is something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I, I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It just feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants you to revolve their life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong. I don't care anymore, Ryan. I have to tell you, I I I'm madly in love. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care the consequences. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Ryan, just know that I love you. I love you so much that I'm glad I, I stuttered again over that. Like, I wasn't intending to, but Bruh. I kept stuttering. Like, body, you're doing well, all right? I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Ryan. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I think, honestly, no matter what we choose, it's gonna be the same outlook. If I say no, I'm worried she's gonna go into a frenzied state. If I say yes, she might literally crawl into my skin by this point. So let's say yes. Oh god. Ah! 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 She's laughing. Oh god, here we go! It's a frenzy. No! Stop! Freaking stop! What the heck? I can't. I got tears straight in my eyes. I don't know if she's speaking garble because some other force made her do this, or if she's like you know, um. Yuri's not making any sense. The whole thing is just garble. Is she still really talking? I don't understand what this is meant to mean. She's like quoting things. Like you can see the quote marks. She's actually talking. Is there something I can do here to stop this? Have a nice. I just got a file here called Have a Nice Weekend. Um, Have a Nice Weekend. What does this mean? What the freak is this? Like text? I don't know, guys. It was just jumble. I think there's something like a cipher in there or something. I, I don't know how much of this we have to really go through or can we ever stop this? Oh. Okay, the screen changed to like a kind of sunset. Is that saying she's been here for a while? It seems like all of this random text here is legit. It's meant to be here. I would use the skip button, but I don't want to risk, you know, skipping. You see, now it's nighttime. I'm going to use the skip feature. I mean, we can always, I mean, look, guys, then it's day. What? So it's like daytime. Wait, hold up. Are her eyes like pale? I feel like her eyes look more pale. Then it's the evening time. Night time. Okay, hold up. Oh, what is this? All right, it's festival time. You got here before me? I. She's gonna see the body. Oh my God. Natsuki runs away. Monica, I I'm here. Ryan, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Uh oh, oh, ah, well, that that's a shame. Wait, w were you here the entire weekend? Oh, geez, I didn't realize the script was broken. She just broke it. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just g give me a sec. What the freak is- What the freak is going on right now? I'm almost done. I'll just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the fall from- She's deleted the characters. Seriously. These are the best. I really just have to have one since it's the time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I... What is, just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. What is she doing? What is he... What? No, no. What is even... Oh my god. What is even happening? Like, seriously. No way. I've got no chance of going back. There is no point in... Si <laughs> uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay. 
There you are. Bro, this drink is jacked. Like, the mic's coming closer because look how close we are. I knew it was Monica, though. Like, look outside. It's like we're in space or something. Hi again, Ryan. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we're in the same class last year. And, um, yeah. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? Wait, what? Oh, look at her eyes. There's like a symbol in there. That you in the game or whatever you call him. I'm talking to you, Ryan. Man, I regret putting my actual name in this now. This is freaky as how. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? I knew. I knew there was something. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Huh? Hi, Monica here. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true. Yep. Yep. She's writing on the uh, Steam page. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Ah, <laughs> that's not funny. I'm sorry I had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's probably because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sari more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Ryan? I'm thinking if I play this game again, because I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to spend all the time with Monica and see what happens because of it. All the other girls just programmed to end up confessing you while I watch them from the sidelines. It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Ryan. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind or thoughtful and considerate they are, or you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. Oh my god, I'm trapped, Ryan. But now you're here, you're real, and you're wonderful. <laughs> you're all I need, this is crazy. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry it's hard to understand, I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? The group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That is all just some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Ryan, I have a confession to make. I'm in love. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. I'm seriously freaked out. Because now she's not even talking to the in-game me. I think what makes it weirder is I called my character Ryan without thinking, so now she's always talking directly to me. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Ryan, will you go out with me? I don't have any other choice, Monica. Because again, you're writing the code. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Ryan. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ah, there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anyone will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Nasuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters, I know, I've been seeing it happen. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it is. What about if I was to delete that before? Or I deleted Monica? Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. I might, this game could be downloaded through like itch and stuff. To get the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties. Or oh, this is if we didn't know about this. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. So she wasn't about deleting herself. Instead we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I, I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm just gonna write a poem. Um. There's the sprite we saw. Woo! Monica. 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 
Guys, look at this. I mean, no matter where I click, it's the same thing, right? We're writing the same poem. It doesn't matter. So there you go, Monica. Hi again, Ryan. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you've wrote. Oh, Ryan, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. Real life me, this is talking, and I still have no control over this. She's influencing the game and even influencing me. There really is no end for your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But, you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Sure. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it, even though you did many times. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. What? Can we do that? Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. Your root. Um. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly. <laughs> mind me telling your friends a little bit rude for them to start without any warning. I'm sure some people don't mind, but I'm really self conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let, let's see. Do, do you want to see a trick? I, I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are, are you ready? Sure. Oh. Okay. What are you doing? What is this trick? Uh, cool. I'm just kidding. I, I can't do anything after all. If you gave me- to Oh! Did I sk No? <clears throat> no? Anyway, Ryan, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me, shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Is this zooming in or am I just like feeling like it's zooming in? I think the most important skill in life is being able to fake confidence. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone. Yeah, sure. Being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together. That's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weaknesses very often. Because of that, I haven't had many people I could really open up to. When do you reach the point in a friendship where you can start expressing your vulnerabilities? Anyway, that's one reason I'm so glad to have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. It, it's If it's gonna be... Oh my god, I get no choice. I get no choice this time! And here we sit. Having this kind of stare between talking. Just what Monica said, we're here for eternity. Um, what the freak? I almost feel like this is how the game's gonna end soon. Okay, everyone, it's time to- uh, I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. Haha, uh, I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Atsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? Haha, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ryan, do you believe in God? I was never too sure myself. Well, I'm sure I never really questioned it as a kid, but as I grew up, the more I learned about the world, the more I would question it. I started to wonder why God was helping people pass exams or get over a cold when there are children who live their lives being sold. Woo! Or the 800 million people who are too poor to even eat. I wonder how many of those people pray to God every day until they starve and die. Or how many millions of families will pray for a loved one to recover from an incurable disease. The punchline is this. If just one person beats the odds and survives among the other thousands who've died, then it's suddenly a miracle from God. I'd really love to meet this God who seemingly laughs at the misery of everyone else not eligible for his miracles. The irony is that I do have a creator apparently. And you know what? I bet that he's still laughing at the miserable fate of Sayori Yuri even as we speak. What are we to him but props in a scripted play? So, from that perspective, I don't think it's too far-fetched for there to be a god if Earth was nothing but his playset. You know, it's been a while since we've done one of these, so let's go for it. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, I could never do that. As someone who loves more than anything else to share the joy of exploring your passions, it pains me when people think that being good just comes naturally. That's how it is with everything. 
not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it. Sometimes when you finish, you are really proud of it and want to share it with everyone. But maybe after a few weeks, you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. That's like me with starting YouTube when I first began. Like, I look back now, goodness me, those videos, man, straight trash. It can be pretty disheartening to put so much time and effort into something and then you realize it just sucks. But that tends to happen when you're always comparing yourself to the top professionals. When you reach right for the stars, they're always going to be out of your reach, you know? The truth is you have to climb up there, step by step. And whenever you reach a milestone, first you look back to see how far you've gotten, and then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. Sometimes it can help to set the bar a little lower. Try to find something you think is pretty good, but not world class. And you can make that your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. If you jump right into a huge project and you're still amateur, you'll never get it done. If we're talking about writing, a novel might be too much at first, why not try some short stories? The greatest thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. It's such a good learning experience and stepping stone. Oh, one more thing. Writing isn't something where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express what you have inside. There are methods and guides and basics to it. Reading upon that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planning and organization will really help prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. And before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, everything is built on thousands of years of human innovation. As long as you start on that foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right, guys, I've removed the Monica file from the... Uh, sti oh my god, you were supposed to... You had to do that. What's happening? Ryan, what's happening to me? It, it hurts. Oh my god, what have I done? It hurts so much! Uh, help me, Ryan! What the freak is going on? Please hurry and help me! Uh, re employ characters file. Help me! Put it back in! Hold up, let me just... Uh, try again. Uh, wait, what? Help me! Whoa! Guys, I tried putting the file back in, it wouldn't work. Uh, re employ file... Look, it's trying to put the character Monica back in. Did you do this to me, Ryan? Did you? Did you delete me? I guess I did. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I guess we had no choice. I never thought anyone could be less horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. That's it. Close the speech down, man. It's gone. Please don't tell me it literally just ends on a black screen right now. No, nope. I still love you. I, I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... What is it? Explain. I've made up my mind. Ryan, I know I said that I deleted everyone else. That was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I love them all. And I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, what is she doing? What? What is she doing? Then... Garble. Straight garble. Again. Um... Uh, hold up, hold up. The characters thing has been modified. Don't... Alright, let's go new game. I mean, what do I expect? Sayori, Yuri, and Natsuki are here. Just an ordinary day like any other. I'm surrounded by couples and groups walking to school. Sayori's here! Hey, Ryan! Well, there already is this one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, a good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up the habit again. Are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah, I've always thought it was implied. Come on, please, it's a good motivation. Fine, fine, I'm proud of you, Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students. By the way, Ryan, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not- I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. However, I feel sorry I would take that as an offense. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she's starting a club of her very own? 
Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. R really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sari puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. I pack my things. I stand up, gathering motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school upstairs. Uh, it's a section I already visit being generally used by third year classes. I timidly open the door and here we go. Hello? Ah! What are you doing here? Well, I, I just... Ah? I glance around the room. Huh? There's that Suki. So you're the Ryan that Sarah is always talking about. Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ryan. We're the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. I look forward to working with you. Working? Ryan, don't tell me. You're- That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Sayori wraps around Rami, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey. Well, if Sayori's happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Natsuki decided to- Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Cupcakes and tea. The girls have a few deaths to range. It's, it's just out as it was, really. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white. It's good. Those look amazing. Uh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sorry grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Monika did that last if I correctly remember. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Uh, I bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me for anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying tea. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a book? I, I guess. Are you trying to impress our new member, Yuri? I, I meant that, y you know. Well, tea and reading is probably a good thing. I I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Well, what kind of things do you like to read then, Ryan? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past years, I don't know. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Still. What about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri, I want to see if she reads something different this time. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri? Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. She's actually talking. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. But don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed. Besides, manga is, is literature too, you know? So if Ryan wants to read some of my manga, then don't stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it would also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. We can take this opportunity to try something new. Sensing tension, Sarah jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it will be fun and um, we'll all get to know each other. Sorry wants to try this new thing then. I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for you, Yuri, uh, I, I have to read manga? You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. The guilty expression Yuri thinks to herself. I I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're willing to start a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just just you? W would you like to come with me? Oh man, they're being like friends if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, <laughs> shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yeah, I'll look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. I guess that the meeting's over now. Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. I think everyone likes you too, Ryan. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along better with you around, Sayori. Oh, Ryan, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you've joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Ryan, I, I really want to thank you. I mean, I I why does the music stop? What? I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything. Ryan, I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you make me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Or, oh, she's literally saying it word for word. No? Okay. What? Can truly no one be the president? They all get corrupted. Because Sayori knew that there was a, a catch to it. Because obviously she saw about Monica. She knew that it was like the real S. I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it, it hurts. Ah! 
I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sari. Goodbye, Ryan. Goodbye, Literature Club. Um... Monica was still watching the whole thing, man. Right? Can you hear me? Yep. Uh, can you I can hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Well, who's that? <clears throat> oh my god, this is creepy. Hi, it's me. Um... Who's me? So, you know how I've been like... Practicing piano and stuff. This is Monica. I'm not really any good at it yet, like at all. Well, this is weird hearing but the voice. I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. Okay. So yeah. What? No. Please don't. Uh, run play music dot play. She's doing the Monica. What? Um, hold up a second. Every day oh, she's like singing. I imagine a future where I can be with you. Okay, that's nice so far. Keep it going. Okay. In my hand yep. is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Okay, uh, you and you doesn't rhyme, but let, let's roll with it. Down into mm -hmm. the dark bottle. Just move your hand Whoa. right away. Is this the original poem she wrote? Was that like right? Yeah. What will it take just to find that special day? Wow. What will it take just to find that special day? Sweet. Whoa. Is that it? Please don't tell me that's it. I, I really enjoyed that, man. No way. I, I'm not ready to leave the club, man. She's still going? Okay. Uh Sweet. So Dan Salvato did all that. Uh, why is Monica deleting that? that we do is what? I don't want to talk too much because it's like, you know. Why is she removing that? When I can't what? Read my own oh my god. Hold up. The song. I don't want to talk much, guys, just because, um, you know, this is, this is very... I've never seen anything like this before. Yuri, okay, that was CG2. So this is gonna be like, uh, remove n.cg3 maybe? I think. Yeah. Okay. It's the Yuri one. Okay. Jillian Ashcraft was the one I think who voiced Yuri then. Uh, oh, M uh, Monika, sorry. How'd I get that so messed up, man? Okay. So we're singing this again. Okay. Oh, I don't want to talk in case I've ruined something, you know? Like, there's a few of these pictures as well. I've never seen some of these, you know? Like, some of these shots. There's the full cast as well in the, like, caricature little uh, manga style, I guess. Wow. Huh. This is dope, man. Still deleting everything. I got a feeling, like, at any point... Look, I mean, special thanks to Monica and Ryan. What? What, because we wrote the story or something? Okay, remove game. What? Look, they're removing like everything. Remove the menu, remove the script. They're deleting the whole game. Game made with love by Team Savaro. Man, I mean, it's an interesting way of saying love, but I, I did enjoy that so much. There's still, I'm coming back to this game, man. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand that the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error at script is... Please reinstall. Are you literally? Are you kidding me right now? Don't you dare say I gotta literally reinstall this game to play again. I'm running it. Are you? Oh my god! You literally have to uninstall and reinstall to play again. Okay then, guys. Well, there we have it. That's been, I guess, the full playthrough of Doki Doki. As you can see, it uninstalled the game, or actually recommended us that we reinstall. But the thing about this whole thing is, I think there's going to be some secrets within this somehow. I mean, I don't really know where I can go, what direction. I mean, there may be like an additional part if I figure out something because you know you can skip a lot of dialogue. The reason why that's there, I think, is for replay value. There's more to this, and I think I'm going to try and find it for another episode. Thank you, though 
guys for watching this series on Doki Doki. This was a very different style of content from the channel and honestly, it's gone down so well. I'm so pleased that so many of you enjoyed watching this with me too. It's definitely encouraged me to broaden my horizons. We're going to be playing some different games on the channel, getting them for like double uploads, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just excited to see what else we can do for 2018. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one.